So those who know me know I like espresso. So I had to pour out the first one because I was like, oh cool, I'm here at my uh, hotel. I'm gonna whip up a nice espresso. It's the machine starts cranking and everything like that. This one, not so much. And just like that, <laughs> that's where it belongs right there. Uh, Rob, would you like one? <laughs> no. All right, here's the true test. And generally, an espresso is probably about yay high, uh, much less froth. But I put some Splenda in it, so let's see how it tastes. Blech. Gross. Bro, I think it looks better though. All right, everybody, now here we are in Orlando. Uh, we stopped in at Ultimate Auto. We stayed at uh, just outside Disney last night. We met some people, said hello, had a good meal. David picked himself up a car today, and that's good because we were able to finally, since we had the car, had the owner right down the street and had a DMV, we finally got one of our cars plated. So at the very least, David has a street legal vehicle in the state of Florida. Uh, here at Ultimate Auto, I didn't realize how many Lamborghinis and Ferraris there were gonna be. We are going to be modifying them slightly. And that makes me very happy because that makes cars more fun. Even David's car, which he'll show you in a second, which is boring in a way, will become much less boring. David, would you please show us your car? Sure. So, finally got a beater car. And this is it. This is a 1993 Fleetwood Cadillac Limo. It runs and drives perfectly the interior is hilariously red and everything seems to work on it but that kind of makes it more boring than the other car so we have to figure out what to do with it all right so i found out that dom was actually in my car investigating about why mine is better we're already bickering about which cadillac is better and i don't know what to think of it Are you? Are you kidding me? He had six? He has three. I'm so close. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. It's not your fault. It's. So, uh, now what? <laughs> now I think there's another side. Can I at least keep the driver's side? No. So uh, this is what happens when you mess with me and my car. Only nice. Pussy. That's better. This thing doesn't look too bad now, does it?
So apparently my car wasn't broken enough because at the end of the day, my car ended up looking good. But luckily we have these guys, here the sledgehammer, to help us out. Take a couple more whacks, that door may actually open eventually. There's still some more glass there. Nope, not anymore. There we go, a little roof damage. Why don't you climb up top? All right, so the guys at Ultimate Auto, uh, a little outside their field of expertise here, but if you can do good things to old muscle cars and exotics, you can hack up our shit relatively easily. Guys had fun, uh, we used TNT, sledgehammers, a forklift, a and, and a Cadillac. <laughs> and our cars now look much better, much more along the lines of, I think, how the, they were originally designed before DOT standards and everything. So it's off to Miami now. What, what are we looking? Why? Why? We had to do it. We what? Had to do you, it. Guys, you guys are friends. It's cool. Yeah. We're friends now. All right. Let's go to yeah. South Beach yeah. and be friends. Okay. All right, everybody. I just want to remind you that these videos were made possible by Panjo, the enthusiast marketplace. Uh, you want to check them out. We're going to be making our custom limo available on their website exclusively. David has a marketplace. Rob has a marketplace. I also have a marketplace. Check the links in the description. Thank you for watching. Thank you for them for making it happen. Looking forward to your drive? No. You, you really need the yellow tape? You want people to like notice you don't have doors? There's, it's a fuse box. Yeah, but like people are now going to know you don't have doors on because there's a big yellow like... Oh, really? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I mean, it, it's only way. about 200 miles. Oh my god. I'm about to embark on probably the scariest drive of my life. What are we doing? Oh, there's traffic. Why? Believe it or not, though, the car is so much faster than it was. I, I can't even lie. Ah! My dash piece is falling off. I might have to pull this off. Yeah, I'm pulling it off. So, Ferretti decided to give the Cadillac a whirl. We traded places. And now it's doing something. Yeah, we're about to find out what's wrong with it. I didn't hear any knocking or anything. No, I, I didn't hear any, I didn't see smoke. I didn't see anything like that. I think I may have just run out of gas. I think so too. Cutting in and the out. gas gauge was really weird because it never looked like it went down. So. Well, it just went under a quarter. So do you want to, I think, just push me? I'm going to push you. Okay, what is happening right now? Uh, I am out of gas, I believe. It had two bars left or three bars left, but I think I ran out. Uh, and luckily we were about, we're on Florida's Turnpike right now. And luckily I've got David pushing me with the Isuzu. Uh, we switched cars, but um, we're trying to make this work. All right, so David's gonna go get us gas and try to rescue us. Try to, you word. So another uh, side product, this cool little uh, emergency kit I got with the Isuzu actually turned out well. Like there was like a flashlight and shit. Um, I realized something, the door jar light is always on in this car because it thinks the doors are open which they sort of are, but that also turns the interior lights on. So the interior lights will forever be on until the battery is drained because of the things the doors are open. So now I have no gas on the side of the highway by the Florida's Turnpike here in Jupiter, Florida. And I am uh, looking at potentially having a dead battery. And it's not Dom's fault. I'm not blaming him for this. Yeah, one. this is the first time it's not my fault. Yeah, this is this is Rob Ferretti broke David's car. <laughs> yes. Hey, you, I mean, you really broke David's car, but like yeah, I, yeah. I broke down in David's car. And we're about an hour and 20 minutes north of South Beach, which is where we're going. How's the drive? Cold. It's it is, very cold. It is cold. Yeah, I'm, the wind's whipping in my hair, the pieces of the glass are whipping in my face. <laughs> Oh, okay. I have retrieved gasoline. Ugh. David's car. David's you okay? <laughs> David's car. Rob, you want to ride the train? I kind of do. I kind of do. No, you don't. No, I don't. No, you don't. Wait. David. Yo. How's it running? 
It seems to be fine. I mean... <laughs> Alright, we're going to a gas station to fill her up and then uh, hopefully it'll get us down to Miami. I tell you one thing, when I call a limo driver, he shows up chicks. in this thing, what happens? <laughs> Make sure you buckle up. <laughs> this, is, this is South Beach right here. You got oh, a couple of chicks yeah, in bikinis man. driving in that oh, thing? Oh, yeah. That's hot, man. Thanks. <laughs> My brother. <laughs> I think we're gonna make it to Miami. Hopefully this thing's down there because this thing is going to be pimping Miami Beach. And it's now 11 o'clock. So we lost about an hour on the side of the road. We're getting there. It is so cold in this car, I cannot even tell you. made it to Miami and now over five and a half hours which is a doorless limo record. I'm exhausted and I'm going to sleep.